Hey, welcome back. I'm trying to make some fast and furious kind of videos for the um, hashtag 31 days of tarot. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with it, but I will link Ethany's videos below. Today is, uh, I'm catching up and this video is top five tarot decks of 2019. And I went with top five tarot decks for me, like kind of what I used um, and really enjoyed using. And um, <laughs> And number five is Tarot de Vavel. I didn't use a lot of Marseille this year, um, but when I did, I would reach for this one. So it's one that stays out. It's just one of my favorites. It's super quirky. The numbering's out of like, sync, but it's just amazing. It reads well. It's beautiful. Um, so again, I didn't use a lot of Tarot de Marseille. I actually, I did do quite a bit of Tarot this year, but I kind of stuck with a few decks. So the next one I would say top tarot deck um, would be the Brady Tarot. And sorry, it's kind of dark, but it's just what I have to work with. So this one, I am super excited about the new release for the second edition coming out. I have pre-ordered it. Um, this deck is amazing, and I didn't use it a lot, and I think it's because I felt overwhelmed by it, uh, because there's so much layering of information that happens, and the imagery gets a little pushed in with this double border kind of thing, which kind of reads as a triple border, uh, but it's an amazing deck, and I think it's definitely a great deck that was created, and I'm looking forward to working with it more, but seeing how the second edition plays under that. So now the next one is, I got this at, it's in December of 2018 and I didn't have time to work with it, but this is the textured tarot. Um, this is probably, this one I used quite a bit, a good bit. This is such a beautiful deck. It's so well done and it's a great reader. I just love it. And Something that you'll notice about my top five decks this year is I really um, just, I connected with collage decks this year for whatever reason. It's not something I sought out. Uh, this one I did seek out, but it's not something that I really thought I would connect with. But this one, it's so artfully done and it's just beautiful. And the textures that come through and the imagery from her uh, kind of patchwork quilt work. Um, ooh, my hair is crazy. Um, really adds depth to this. That it's just, it's a, it's a gentle, but not in a way that hides anything. It's so, it's so beautiful. Uh, the next two are kind of tied for my number one spot, and this one, this one I got. I mean, it came out a little bit later. This is the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann Donnelly. And it's just phenomenal. I've used it nonstop since I've gotten it. And it's a great reader. It's great for creative um, writing work. It's great for um, anything. Anything I throw at it, it's just amazing. The guidebook is incredible. Um, I really like how it's written and the poems that are in there. And, and um, the imagery is so evocative. The colors are phenomenal. I mean, this is just probably one of the best decks that I think I've seen in a long time. And um, not every, it's not everybody's cup of tea, and that's awesome. But that's, that's the beauty of having so many decks. But it is by far one of my top decks, probably ever. Um, the next one would be Spolia Tarot. This is... This is, I used this one a lot before I got Muse, and this is a deck, it's a collage deck. Um, apparently that's a theme for me for 2019. I love, I love the art. I love that this has um, other cards in it, the zodiac signs and um, the elements. I just love this deck. This is the first edition. Um, it's a pretty chunky deck, but it is just, 
so incredible. It's a good reader. It's thought provoking. The the guidebook is, while I uh, the guidebook is good and I enjoy reading it and it tells you what you need to know in a in a thought provoking way. Um, it, sometimes I want more from it, um, but I don't need more from it. It's just so well done. This deck, this deck seriously made me consider. Um, why do I have? Why do I need any other decks? Like, and I knew that I, I of course would, would have other decks because I think decks serve different purposes in our lives and they read for different things and you know speak to us differently when we need them. And this deck it just, it just hit me. It hit me so hard and it just said, you need no other deck. <laughs> um, and Muse kind of has that same. Um, tone for me as well. It makes me, it really makes me question. Um, and they make me look at my collection and say, what do, um, what does this serve in, as far as purpose in my life? And is it worth keeping? Is it worth moving along? Is it, you know, where are we at with it? Um, and these decks make me want to get to know them um, inside and out. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, that's my top five decks for 2019.